Okay, so from here we're going to move into your hip flexor stretch, which is one that will probably get quite tight from a cycling motion on the bike. If you take your right leg, I want you to take quite a big step back on the right leg. So you can run to the ball of the foot and the heel is lifted. From here, if you just ease the body down and drop the back knee onto the mat. So to begin with, if you try and move the line of your hip forward slightly, so you start to feel a stretch through the hip flexor on your right leg. Then if you take your right hand on the outside of your front knee, opposite hand onto the hip, I just want you to turn to the side so you're feeling a spinal twist. So breathing into this twist, feeling a stretch through the back leg, the hip flexor, and also feel that twist from the lower mid through to the upper back, keeping the shoulders as relaxed as you can. And then to come out of the stretch, if with your right hand, if you release that pressure with the right hand, come back to the center, hands around the waist, keep the back toe hooked under, press up, and place the back heel down. I'm going to move into standing calves. So you've got your right leg back, bend into the front left knee, and just slightly lean forward. So again with this one, it's a straight line from the back heel to the top of the head. Don't worry too much if that back heel can't quite reach the floor. So once it starts to ease off through the calves, keeping the front knee bent, just stepping the back leg in. I'm going to repeat the same stretch on the left. So starting with hip flexor, if we take the left leg, quite a big step back onto the ball of the foot, bend at the knee, ease down, move the line of the hip forward slightly. So you can start to feel it through the hip flexor. If you take your left hand, to the outside of the right leg. Begin to spinal twist by bringing some pressure onto the outside of the knee. So it's lower, mid, through to upper back. And again, shoulders as relaxed as you can, just holding that stretch. And to release out, release the pressure from the left hand back to the center, keep the back toe hooked under, press up, front knee stays bent, step in slightly so the heel touches down. A little lean forward here, beginning to stretch through the calf in your back leg. Again for extra support with this one, you can push against a wall or if you've got your bike there, just to intensify the stretch. front knee, step the back leg in, shoulders release, feet just coming a little bit wider here, we're going to take a breath in, stretching the arms up to the front, and then an exhale, arms relax down, chin onto the chest, body roll down, your spinal twist it's quite nice to do a forward bend just to feel that any tension release from your lower back always feel the neck head neck and shoulders relax here soften through the knees and body roll back up through the spine when you get to the top, roll back through your shoulders. Feel the tension release from the neck. And then just coming back to standing straight. So from here, if you take your right leg, I'm going to take a step back on your right leg this time. Not quite as far as the first time. So this stretch is also for your hip flexors. If you've got any problems with your knee, where you can't have your knee all the way down on the mat, you can do this stretch instead. So from here, the movement is in the hip, so you need to tilt the pelvis forward. So get that tilt forward the pelvis. Shuffle the back foot if you need to, and then just drop down. Keep that pelvic tilt forward and hold it there. 
So anyone who's got any injuries with the knee or any, any problems that you can't have that knee down, this stretch will also get through the hip flexor. And it's the tilt of the pelvis which really brings this stretch into effect. Okay, coming back to the centre with this one. And if you can manage to, step the leg in. Switching sides, take the left leg back onto the toes. Just find a position that's comfortable for you. Pelvis tilts under and then starting to drop down. So keeping that pelvic tilt on and only drop down as much as you need to to feel that stretch through the hip flexor. And with each 
each exhale, just lengthen into the stretch a little more. To come out, if you just lightly start to walk the hands back to the center, slowly feel the shoulders relax down and just sitting up straight. 